Okay, YouTube friends, <clears throat> this video is a video response for Robin, who is TNGirl224 on YouTube. She is having a Spark My Memory giveaway to help her remember some of her past childhood and all. So, Robin, first off, I want to say I am so sorry about your memory loss and that that is so sad that you cannot remember things like that. I don't really know anything, didn't even know there was, uh, and I forget what you called it, the thing that makes you not remember uh, until I, you know, watched your video about this. But um, I am so sorry. And I hope that my video will help you tremendously. Um, memory is my middle name. Now what I mean by that, yes, lately I have gotten forget, forgetful. I forget little things about what I've said or what I've did, you know, in, in the past two or three days or whatever. But I have to say that I am so very thankful for my past and my childhood memories. And from what I have uh, figured out just from talking to other people about my memories of my childhood, they are so shocked and surprised at how I can remember things from when I was such a little child and a little baby. And they all say, I don't remember stuff that young. And they just can't believe how I do. But I do. I have a lot of memories. And memories excite me. I love to reminisce about my past and my childhood. And so I'm so very thankful for my memories. And I hope I never lose my childhood past memories. So, when I seen this video of yours robin to do this giveaway i got so excited because this kind of thing is right up my alley like i said i love reminiscing about my childhood so i was on it i was ready to do it even though i'm almost late i've been sick so i haven't quite quite felt like doing it but here i am now and uh, thank god I, I still have one day left to do this so it ends tomorrow, but everybody that watches this, uh, she wants you to make a video showing something that you have kept as a treasure from your childhood. If you do not have anything like that, then maybe you have pictures of it that you've saved. Show the picture. If you don't have pictures, uh, try to get online and go to Google Images and print up, you know, search up some things and print them off to show those pictures of things that you had as a child to help her mem mem to help her remember her childhood and past. Um, go to her channel, TN Girl225, find her video named Spark My Memory, and then she has a couple of updates on it too. Um, but watch the first one, it will give you all details about this giveaway. On her on your video she wants you to tell her what country you live in because she has three different prizes, two for the U.S. and one for uh, international, I think, or, or however it goes. So, Robin, I live in the USA. I live in Tennessee. She wants you to PM her and let her know that you have made the video and to make it simple and name the video, video response for Spark My Memory. But Robin, I'm going to make it even easier for you. I'm just going to send you the link to my video through the PM because you can do that. I don't know if you knew that or not, but you can do that, and that's what I'm going to do with mine. And this challenge ends tomorrow, March the 1st. I did not think that tomorrow was March the 1st up here on us already. But anyway, Robin, here I go. I hope that my memories and pictures will help you remember a lot of stuff. When I was a teenager, living at home with my mom and dad, I had a collection of candles 
but the kind of candles I collected were made and shaped like different things. And so this is a picture that I had in my room. Put it up close there. I hope you can see. I hope there's not a bad glare. Um, looks like there is. Let me see if I can turn it this way. I don't know. Anyway, this is a candle and it's shaped like a baby bottle. Now these are regular candles right here. And then there's a candle shaped like a kitty cat. And then that shell there, there's a little candle like this behind it. But that's not my whole collection. I had a slew of these things. Matter of fact, in this next picture, it shows you here. This is a little coffee table. It was an old coffee table my mama used to have. She didn't want to use it anymore, so she let me have it. I put it in my room. And this is where I had my candle collection sitting on it. But see, there's the baby bottle. All of these, like cats and squirrels holding yarn and acorns, the candles is inside those. But I had all kind of, there, let's see. Let me look at it and see here. You can't see them all, but most all of these are candles. Even the basket of strawberries, the little old lady, all of that is candles. So I've got candles that were shaped like things. And I think there's a few things sitting there that's not candles too. But I loved Elvis. That's a card, pack of cards of Elvis Presley. And this is my baby dolls that I had. Uh, cabbage patch and such in the old timey carrier so oh and this was one of my baby dolls right there um, and yes I was a teenager I didn't really just play baby dolls but I had them to lay around for looks and you know I would change their clothes every once in a while and stuff so that was that collection okay let me I kind of got my pictures organized here uh, oh, shoot, I think that was part of them. Okay, yeah, this is my stereo and my whatnots that I had on my stereo. A clown, a monkey. This was like a pin cushion, but it's like a, it's crocheted, a little chair. I think I had, let me look closer. It looks like two little bitty uh, kitty cat whatnots that I had sitting in it. And this was my little Debbie doll. Remember the, well, you, they still have the, the little boxes of little Debbie cakes. Um, we used to get those, and on the back, they had an order form to order the little baby doll, and I did that. This is a picture frame I had. This was, at the time, my boyfriend. Um, he's not the one that I married. So, and then this was like a little jewelry box on top of my speaker and stuff. Um, my pictures are kind of messed up, too. But anyway, that's that. Okay, this here, I'll just show you this real quick. It's a shelf, and I had a bunch of other picture frames of friends and little whatnots and stuff on it there. And I changed up. As you can see, that was on that coffee table, and I got it up here. You know, I did. I rearranged and changed my room and my furniture up a lot, too. Okay, and then I had a, I told you I loved Elvis. I had a clock of Elvis Presley, and then um, I had... The Elvis Presley doll. And this rug was my sister Becca's and I stole it from her. And uh, it's like a rug, but it was real soft and fluffy. So instead of putting it on the floor, we hung it on the wall. Okay. So let me see here and get these back in order again. Alright, I had a hope chest. This was my hope chest. And this was... Uh, a big Cabbage Patch doll and a little Cabbage Patch doll I had. And then that was a pillow with a kitty cat on it. So I had that. And um, this is just a picture of my Hope Chest opened up. And that was a blanket, a crocheted blanket my mama had bought me to go in my Hope Chest. So that's that. So that's my pictures. And then I did go online and print out some more things too because, like I said, I love my childhood memories. So, um, I'm going to show y'all. I had one of these as a little bitty girl, and I loved playing on that thing. I don't remember exactly what they're called, but mine was red. I got it for my birthday one year. Okay, then another thing 
This picture reminds me, it almost is similar. We had a TV something like this that stood up on legs. So it makes me, you know, reminds me of that. The way it is on that wall, and then there's two open up spaces on both sides. This kind of reminds me of the living room we had in our trailer. It wasn't a full wall. It was a half wall, and then it had spindles up to the ceiling. And then you could, it was opened up on both sides, and you could go around. This part was the living room, and what you went around into was the kitchen. And as a little girl, I used to have the, uh, what do they call those? I had the Wonder Woman one, too, and that's what it's showing here, this little girl. This is not me. This is just a picture I printed up online. But, um, undie, undies, they called them something. I can't remember now what they're called, but I used to have the Wonder Woman one, and I wore it. Okay. And as a little girl, I had a big wheel, and it looked similar to this, and I loved it, and I used to ride it and play on it outside. As a little girl, this is a snowball maker, and or a snow cone, they call it, maker, machine. I had one. I can't quite remember if it was a Snoopy one like this. Seemed like mine was like a snowman type thing. I'm not sure. It may have been, but I did have one. Whether it was just like this or not, I can't remember. Okay. And... I had, this is something to see. You've also helped me come up with some more memories I had forgotten about, Robin. Because the way i done this, I got on Google Images. And I just put in, see, I was born in 1968. So I just, I would put in different things like, um, I put in the year 1968 toys. And then I did, because I was born in 1968. And then I did 1969 toys, 1970 toys, 1972. You know, so on like that till I got about... 10 years old so and it brought up stuff and this one I had actually forgotten about until I was looking at the stuff that it pulled up and when it showed this I went crazy because I actually had one of these and I remember it Ta -da! <laughs> it was a cup to drink out of and you had a straw but it had a little um, I can't tell if this is a little boy or a little girl. Seemed like mine was a little girl. Should have been anyway, with me being a little girl. But it may have been a little boy. But he had that suit on and the hat. And he had a straw and he stood there by it. You drunk out of your straw and it was like he was drinking out of his straw along with you. I had one of those and I loved it. I remember that. Okay. I had a ballerina doll like this that danced around. And had that outfit on. Okay. I had one of these uh, little movie maker things, and you would point it to the wall, and it would show you little cartoons and stuff up on the wall. And then I had Barbie dolls, and I remember having the blow-up furniture for them. Uh, chair and stool and dresser and such. Okay. I had this family of dolls, and I loved them. I played with them all the time. So I had this family in the dolls, plus I had this family in the paper dolls. Remember the boxes of paper dolls you used to could buy and get? And they don't have them like that anymore. It's mostly just in books and you punch them out. And then I don't even see many of those anymore. But I had this family in the dolls, like Barbie dolls, and also in the paper dolls. Okay, and then I had this shark game. It is called, uh, well, it's not showing it here exactly the name of it. But you try to get the stuff, like all the stuff the shark has ate, out of his mouth before it's like a timer thing. And I think he clamps down on it, bites down on it. you got to try to do that and get it out before he bites down on your, uh, your before you're getting it out. It's running low. So i got to hurry with this. Sorry about that, y'all. But I had that game, and it was exciting when that pulled up. That was another one that I had forgotten about. And when it, I was looking through there, I seen that. I said, oh, I had that. <laughs> so, see, you've helped me out too, Robin, and I love this. This kind of thing is right up my alley. I hope my pictures has helped you and gave you some more memories. And I hope you enjoyed it. So, everybody go check out Robin's uh, Spark My Memory giveaway and join it. Join in the fun. It is fun to ha to remember other things too that you forget. So she is. We're helping her out, and she's also helped us out. Helped me anyway. 
remember some more things. All right, I'm going to go, and I'll be um, sending this to you soon, Robin. So toodle-doo until next time.